As the climate crisis intensifies, the ocean could be our greatest ally in supporting human well-being. Marine ecosystems regulate the world's climate. They provide us with food and oxygen, and they protect our coastlines from erosion. But they also capture and lock away carbon. And this is what we call blue carbon. Coastal ecosystems such as seagrass, salt marsh and mangroves are all recognised as key blue carbon habitats. But carbon is cycled and sequestered across a wide range of marine environments. And there's increasing attention on the role of sediment ecosystems which occupy vast waves of this planet as stores of blue carbon. Protecting, restoring and creating marine ecosystems that store blue carbon can help us mitigate climate change. Such projects can provide real, nature-based solutions to turn the tide on this global issue. Our long-term monitoring program in Lyme Bay has demonstrated how effective management protects and enables the recovery of marine ecosystems. It's led to new legislation to protect hundreds of square kilometres of seabed from the damaging impacts of bottom toe fishing gear. At the University of Plymouth, we work to provide the evidence needed to protect marine ecosystems. Our world-leading researchers are implementing non-invasive approaches to monitoring seagrass meadows and carbon stocks using marine autonomous technology. Such as remote sensors, drones or satellite mapping. We are studying the complex interactions between seagrass and flow in the ocean. And this helps us not only to identify locations where seagrass will increase or decrease the sequestration of carbon, but also allows us to construct high resolution numerical models that significantly improve our ability to predict habitat suitability. This can greatly improve outcomes when attempting to restore blue carbon habitats. It can also help our understanding of carbon storage potential under different physical environments. Using our world-class Coast Lab, we've worked alongside the Ocean Conservation Trust to improve the outcomes of seagrass restoration projects. We're pushing the boundaries in research to discover blue carbon habitats in the deepest parts of our ocean so we can plan for their effective protection. We're also working in the tropics using molecular tools. These help us understand how best to support the restoration of healthy mangrove forests. Our researchers are refining methods to assess carbon stocks and the rate at which they accumulate below seagrass beds. This allows us to work out past storage rates over hundreds, even thousands of years. We are at the cutting edge of developing social and economic research. It's needed to ensure that the value of our blue carbon stocks is accounted for. This will further investment in nature-based solutions. We train interdisciplinary marine scientists equipped with the skills and research capability to underpin the sustainable management of our marine resources. And we've delivered creative climate connections such as this living arts piece at the National Marine Aquarium, which focuses on seagrass. It gives more than 200,000 visitors a year a chance to find out more about blue carbon habitats and take positive action. At Plymouth, we know that the protection and restoration of blue carbon ecosystems is essential to protect human well-being. That's why we work at an international level to ensure that climate discussions include marine. That blue carbon stocks are protected and habitats such as seagrass beds are restored for future generations.